All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and today I wanna to talk about how you warm up. I know you may think this isn't a big deal, but I think if you don't warm up correctly, you can fatigue yourself too soon, potentially. Um, this is one of the mistakes I made. You know, we would get on the leg press, for example, and we'd put one play on each side. We'd do 10 reps. Next set, we would do two plays for 10 reps, three plays for 10 reps, all the way up to like 12 plates. And that's a lot of reps. At some point, you don't need to do that many reps. So there's two approaches I want to show you today on how to warm up. One of them, this is, um, this is uh, if you're in a hurry, you can use this. Like if you're a little short on time, you can use this technique. And the other technique is if you just want to try it. The downside is you might get a little fatigued and then after the warm up, have to wait. But so hear me out on this one. So let's say we're training quads. I want to show you. I'm going to do an exact set, warm up set. Your warm up set with this technique, it's the speed warm up. Okay, I don't know what else to call it, so we'll call it speed warm up. It's one set. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with a weight. The first two sets are going to be 15 reps. So it's going to be 15 reps. I'm immediately going to make it heavier. And I'm going to do another 15. And then I'm going to drop the reps all the way down to six and do a couple sixes. And then I'll go down to fours, then maybe even some threes. I'm doing them all back to back. So the point is, is to get higher reps at the beginning just to get the blood flowing and then continue to go up the stack so essentially what you're doing is you're basically doing i don't know six warm-up sets all in one set so it's going to save you time and it will absolutely warm you up so enough talking let me show you what this looks like so make sure you start off light just like you normally would so we're going to do 15 here Make sure you're flexing the muscles that you're warming up. Three, four. When you're warm ups, you should be flexing the muscle. You shouldn't just be going through the motions, okay? You should be squeezing, driving blood and air. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're gonna make it a little heavier. Fifteen again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now it's burning. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now we're gonna drop the reps down. So now let's go down to six reps. Three, four, five, six. <clears throat> another six, another six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going down to four. Two, three, four, and now three. One, two, three. So that's what it looks like. There's essentially six sets in one. 15, 15, 6, 6, 4, 3 is in the ballpark. Um, now I'm warmed up, I'm ready to go. So now I can go right into my work sets. Um, this technique works best on machines, okay? So if we're training chest, we wanna use a chest machine. Hamstrings would be a leg curl. Uh, biceps would be a curl machine. Machines, okay? You wouldn't want to do this with a barbell or dumbbells. Imagine if you're doing a dumbbell press. You pick the dumbbells up, carry over to the rack, carry another pair back. You'd wear yourself out just walking back and forth. Now, I'm going to catch my breath here and then we're going to talk about technique number two. Now, another approach, it's actually really, really similar in terms of rep scheme. So 
I think of this more on compound movements, like squats, for example. So you're going to start off with 15 reps, 15 reps with light weight, and then you're going to do the same thing. As you progress up, you're going to bring your reps way down. I'll even go down as low as triples uh, on a barbell press. If I'm doing dumbbell presses, I might go down to set to three or four or five. So now you just slow it down and you take your time. But the key is, once you get the two high rep sets done, bring the reps way down. I think it's a big mistake people make continuing to keep the reps up. They're just, you know, you hear the term junk volume. I don't know that I would call it junk volume. It's probably just, it's just fatigue. It's unnecessary fatigue, okay? So you got a fast technique. By the way, a lot of people, when they do that, they'll think that's the whole workout. And my quads are actually still on fire from that set I did. And then you got the little slower technique that you use with uh, barbells and dumbbells. Now that's just the beginning. What happens is you continue to go through the workout though. So when you get to the next exercise, let's say you're doing, let's say you did squats. Let's say the next exercise is hack squats. Now you don't need as many warm ups, but you probably need a set or two just to, just to get the feel of the movement. So instead of going back to 15 reps and 15 reps, now just do four or five just to get the feel of the movement, okay? So let's say you normally do four plates on a hack squat. I'm just making that number up. To put two plates on there, just do three or four or five reps. Then put three plates on there, just do three or four reps just to get the feel of the movement without exhausting yourself. And then bam, hit your hearts at four plates. Now, to take that a step further, what about then when you get to your third exercise? Okay, now you need even less warm-ups. In fact, I wouldn't even call it a warm-up. It's just, again, getting used to the movement. So now let's say we went to the leg press. Now you're really warmed up. You might, let's say you normally leg press eight plates. You might put six plates on there and do five reps just to get the feel of it. And then boom, seven or eight plates. Right to your working sets. And then if you do a fourth exercise, same thing. I think, I think you all get what I'm saying. As you progress through the workout, the warm-up sets just become kind of get the feel the motion sets more than our warm-up sets. And keep the reps down until you get to the work set. Save your energy, save your strength so that you can go all out on the hard sets. And this is what I keep talking about with my training intensity. I keep saying that the hard, the last set of each exercise needs to be really hard. So I want you to conserve as much energy as you can and still be really, really warmed up so we don't get injured. But again, be able to perform that last set with as much strength as we can, which as much intensity as we can. All right, so there's two different techniques to get you started. And then as you go, remember, less sets until you get to your work set, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. If for some reason it doesn't make sense, just uh, let me know in the comments below. But again, I, just a quick video on something I think is very important. So we will see you next time. If you like that video, I know you're gonna love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.